Hey guys, so I was looking at the forum the other day, one of the, uh, one of the Cummins forums, and the topic of exhaust brakes came up, and uh, so I thought I'd kind of look at, look into that on my truck. I got a 2014 Laramie, and uh, one, one of the questions was the exhaust brake. When is the exhaust brake on doing warm-up? Does it come on automatically doing warm-up, or do you have to manually put it on? Now we're going to look at my truck here in a second, and and we'll take a look at it, and see. Uh, I, I can tell you ahead of time on this particular tr uh, truck, you have to uh, put it on manually. But that's in these you know 30 something degree temperatures in Louisiana. This is not sub zero degree temperatures, so it may be different at that point. You, you guys probably know that I look at these forums a lot, and uh, there's a lot of good information on the forums and YouTube. Uh, but you have to sometimes decipher what's right and what's wrong because it's you know everybody's got opinions, everybody's got their own set of facts, and uh, you know so there's a lot of active discussions, sometimes very active discussions, <laughs> and uh, some of the some of the material is excellent. Some of these people on these on these forums and and YouTube is just excellent. It's it's so valuable to me, and. Uh, it's one of the reasons I, I, I like doing these videos because I learn something every time I start digging into something and uh, you know there's other people that just don't know their ass from all over the ground <laughs> and I know there's a lot of people that would probably put me in that category don't don't take the advice of some moron from a pickup truck forum <laughs> okay so now I'm good to go I got my disclaimer in uh, let's take a look at this uh, this monitor here it's a it's terrible when the sun's shining on it and it is right now but uh, as you can see uh, I don't want to get my big ass face in the camera <laughs> but as you can see uh, we got load engine load up here we've got uh, exhaust pressure right here which is a good one we're going to want to watch that's your exhaust manifold pressure uh, they've got a tap right into the manifold pressure for, for uh, uh, right into the manifold for pressure for a pressure sensor. It's a tube that comes off of it, and it uh, it uh, reads uh, exhaust manifold pressure, and that's part of the EGR system. And then we're going to look at uh, as I said, we'll look at load, but it's load is kind of a little bit insignificant. But you'll see a little load change when we go from park to drive and that sort of thing. Uh, by the way, this turbo comes uh, back to normal turbo operating conditions when you put it in gear and you start moving. In other words, when your exhaust brake is on and you're idling, uh, you don't drive away with the exhaust brake on full. You would, there would be too much back pressure. So, uh, but the interesting one is the uh, VGT position, which is that one that's sitting on 85% right now. Keep in mind that zero is wide open, 100% is completely closed. Uh, the old turbines, turbos, were waste gated, and when, when they built up too much uh, boost, the exhaust would bypass, and by, bypass the turbo and go out the exhaust. That was the waste gate. Uh, but with the emission standards and everything that we have now, They've gone to in 2007. Cummins went to a uh, a uh, variable geometry turbo VGT, and they've been around for a long time. They've been on gas engines too. Uh, this is a whole set made by whole set. They're very related to Cummins. I don't know that Cummins has been having them on their engine for over 30 years. Uh, I don't know if they're financially related or not, but. Uh, it's a it's a good turbine. It's a different. Uh, it, it it operates a little bit different than the uh, some of the other ones, the Fords and stuff. The nozzle on this turbine uh, slides back and forth, and when it slides back and forth, it has the effect of reducing the size of the turbine because it's uh, blocking. It's controlling the exhaust gas coming into the turbine. They've been in Cummins uh, trucks for over 
since almost 10 years now, 2007. Uh, they used to have the old waste gated uh, turbos that were just full turbo all the time. And when you were running at high RPMs, it was creating too much boost, so the wastegate would open and bypass the, the turbo and dump that extra uh, exhaust pressure into the exhaust, just go, go out the exhaust to control the boost. With the closed loop EGR systems that we have now, they really needed to be able to control these turbines better. Uh, exhaust manifold pressure has to be a little bit higher than the uh, boost pressure so that you can always have enough exhaust manifold pressure to go into the EGR valve through the cooler or whatnot and into the engine and they weren't able to do that with the old uh, style turbines because when at more moderate speeds and idling and whatnot there was not virtually no boost created at all the reason we have exhaust brakes and they I'm guessing but they've probably been on the truck since about 2007 that's when the VGT turbines came out on the ramps and uh, the reason it's easy to give you an exhaust brake is because of the ability to control the exhaust pressure with the turbine so Let's go ahead and crank up and take a look at it. Okay, I just cranked up the engine. I've got the exhaust, the back, uh, the exhaust brake. I've got the exhaust brake on. So take a look at your exhaust pressure, 25.8, 25.9. Bear in mind that's PSI absolute, which is 14.7 pounds. Uh, if you want to gauge, gauge pressure, you would subtract 14.7 from that. So that 26, point, 26 pounds is active gauge pressure would be uh, less 14.7. Notice your VGT position. That turbo is 96% uh, closed. And uh, our load is, you know, 7%. Now watch what happens when I take the uh, exhaust brake off. I'm going to take it off right now. probably heard it but notice how that uh, turbo exhaust opened back up so this is what's warming up the engine faster when you have your uh, your exhaust brake on is that back pressure that it's holding on the engine notice the exhaust pressure went back down to just a little bit above atmospheric pressure which would be 14.7 uh, it's always got to hold more It's always got to hold enough pressure on the exhaust manifold uh, To get the exhaust gas into the EGR valve and overcome whatever the boost pressure is so We're just above that uh, that point and that's why that 44% is there It's acting like a smaller turbine right now because uh, those veins are partially in that exhaust flow. Now watch, I'll, I'll go ahead and put it, uh, put it back on again. Okay, there it is again. You can see that VGT turbo is doing just what it should do. It's holding back pressure on the engine. You can see the exhaust manifold go up. I just wish, tur uh, I just wish ram they tap that exhaust manifold and there's a tube coming off of there with that temperature gauge and like I said I'll show it to you right here but um, I wish they think they, they were not a temperature gauge a pressure gauge they're coming off with that pressure gauge right there I just wish they would have teed in or something and got exhaust temperature also right there at the manifold while they were in that spot. But anyway, uh, 
Notice the load. Now I'm gonna leave the exhaust on. By the way, when we take off, just within maybe less than five miles an hour, that uh, exhaust, uh, that turbo will start acting like a like a regular turbo, for lack of a better word. Uh, let's go ahead and start moving and see if we can. Uh, you notice that load goes up just a little bit when you go into uh, gear. So, you know, the bottom line is there's no problem running your truck with the exhaust brake on uh, because it's going to act, it's, it's, it's going to, right now it's in the full closed position. Not full closed, it's, it's letting some exhaust through, obviously. But uh, as we take off, it's going to go back and start operating like a normal. VGT turbine. Right now, it's in the it's in the exhaust brake position, which is the extreme uh, as as far closed as it'll go. It's not as I say, it's not completely closed. So let's roll away and you'll see what I mean. That's 15.7. That's, that's your manifold pressure, exhaust manifold. And uh, our coolant temperature is 123 right now. You can see the exhaust brake is still on. If you're sitting here idling. But uh, I don't know if you can hear, but I can actually hear the exhaust brake. It's still on. I'm at 131 degrees. Coolant temperature. It's about 45 degrees. We had a pretty cold spell come through this morning. It was, uh, I think it probably got up past 70 degrees yesterday. It was really dropped overnight. But we're going to pop all along here. if you're still awake thanks for watching and adios